World Championships review, semi-finals and finals. The semi-finals were absolutely cracking. Tariq Momin against Mohamed El Shabagi. Tariq just played out of his skin. He always struggles to beat Mohamed, and yet he did it in the World Championships, in the biggest tournament of the season. He managed to hold his quality for five games. He had one or two patches where he hit a couple of mistakes, but barring those, his level was so high and he kept the ball out of the tin and he made Mohamed do an incredible amount of work. Mohamed's probably the gutsiest player on tour and still this wasn't quite enough to beat an in-form Tariq Moman. Ali Farag was way too good for Simon Rosner. Rosner didn't play bad by any means and he didn't show any signs of tiredness from his previous matches, but he did fatigue purely because of how hard Ali made him work. The women's semi-finals, another couple of 3-2 matches. Norel Shabini overcoming Camille Serm 3-2 with an amazing fight back from Camille from two love down, but Nor kept ahead and played some good quality in the fifth to make sure she won. Now the second semi-final of Renim against Norel Tayeb. I personally think this is the highest quality women's match I've ever seen. The court coverage from both of them was just incredible. And the way they were taking the ball in constantly, especially on the backhand, was superb. They were taking the ball in so low and so tight and making very few mistakes throughout the match. I was really, really impressed with this match. Noor did incredibly well to beat Renim. On to the finals. Noor El Shabini backed up her 3-2 win in the semi-final absolutely fantastically. To handle the nerves of a world final, she played some really good squash and was just a little bit too good for Noor El Tayab on the day. Ali Fragan's Tarek moment. Ali, he really has shown why he's the new world number one this week. He's played some superb squash. His movement is so smooth and so controlled. And his brain for the type of squash he plays is just fantastic. He maneuvers the ball around from corner to corner. He has variation on all his shots. On the backhand volley, sometimes he'll go short, sometimes he'll go long, sometimes he'll go cross court. He keeps you guessing every single time. He never forces it too much. When he goes short, it's safe and it's accurate. When he goes deep, it's safe and it's accurate. It's just a relentless style of play that is exhausting to play against. A very, very impressive week overall by Ali Farag. So he's won his first world title. How many more will he win? Mohamed El Shabagi will be back, fighting for more world championships and fighting for his world number one space. Noor El Shabini, she's 23 years old, She's been in five World Open finals and she's won three World Opens. And again, she's 23. It's just amazing. She can go on to surpass Nicole David's records and I actually think she will. Overall, a superb World Championships. Highest prize money, the interactive front wall was a hit. Well done to Chicago and the PSA for putting on a superb event. Thanks for listening to another awesome sports video. Check out many more at awesome sports dot co dot uk